You know, one of the most popular destinations in downtown Grand Rapids is getting set to reopen its doors. The Grand Rapids Public Museum will soon be ready for guests. But there are a few things that have changed that you should know before planning your visit. Christy Bender, the museum's director of marketing, joins us this morning with the details. Good morning, Christy. Great to see you again. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So reopening, you have to be excited. When's the big day? Absolutely. We are going to be opening our doors for the community again on July 6th, so coming up very soon. And I heard that members might be able to get there a little earlier than that. Yes, so we will have special member-only days that will take place from July 1st through 3rd, and will actually be closed for the holiday weekend, so July 4th and 5th, uh, and get the building re clean and ready to go to open that Monday on July 6th so that we can welcome everyone back. Side note and a sad note, uh, we've spent almost nearly every 4th of July the past few years at the Public Museum. Sorry to hear that we won't be able to go there this year, but good news, that body's exhibit, uh, body's revealed exhibit has been extended, correct? Yes, yeah, so this exhibit was originally uh, set to close in May, but due to our temporary closure, we were able to extend it. Bodies Revealed will be here through September 27th. So we have a few more months for those who either had tickets that uh, got refunded due to the closure or hadn't had a chance to come and see it yet. We'll have that opportunity before it closes. And that exhibit is a timed entry when you purchase your tickets online. And of course, since the pandemic has hit and COVID-19, uh, all, all that's been happening, you've been taking this time when you were closed to set up new protocols. What, what is it going to be, the experience going to be once those doors open? Absolutely. So just like many of the other cultural institutions, we are taking many, many steps to ensure that we have a low risk area for people to come and visit. So when you enter the museum, you're going to notice right away different features that are taking place for the safety of both visitors and our staff. We're going to have a, one specific entry door and one specific exit door for the museum that will be clearly marked uh, so that people can come and go and using only the, the one flow of path. Uh, we are doing contactless entry, so we are requiring visitors to purchase their tickets online ahead of time. You can do this at grpm.org. Uh, we are just doing general admission tickets for the entire day, but we're limiting the number of tickets being sold to ensure that our capacity stays fairly low. We can allow for social distancing that way and keep everyone safe. Uh, so when you buy your tickets, you are welcome to come into the museum anytime during our normal hours. But of course, Bodies Revealed does have that time to entry uh, to reduce the number of people going through that exhibit. We'll have new signs at the building that shares different practices that we're all asked visitors to take place. We will have all of our staff wearing face masks and ask that visitors wear face masks when they come to. Uh, you'll see different plexiglass up at our point of sale stations, of course, just that barrier to help protect both the staff and uh, our visitors. So just the similar precautions that many of us are seeing throughout, we are including more sanitizing stations for visitors to use, as well as increasing our cleaning protocols throughout the museum and the number of times that we're uh, going through and, and doing those protocols throughout the day. We are going to be uh, removing temporarily some of the high touch areas. We were a, a very uh, interactive museum for all ages. And so knowing that we really need to prioritize keeping people safe, some things won't be available throughout different exhibits, including touch screens, our virtual reality experience, and a few others. But our core exhibits, as well as Bodies Revealed and Toys, will be open for people to explore. Well, we're super excited to get back there. GRPM.org. If you want more information, you can get more information on the Toys exhibit. And of course, what's coming in November, that great Lego bricks exhibit as well. Thanks for the time, Christy. Appreciate it.